In this video I'm drilling a hole undersized in a Delrin part and the video is about how I got round it and fixed it. So let's get started. This is the first program, didn't go very well at all. That's a 10.1 drill and it's going to go into a piece of del rim which is left at 12 diameter. And I think all that happens is the wall is so thin that there's no material there to resist the drill pushing away. So the hole comes out undersized. I thought I was being very clever using a parting tool for everything, but um, mm, sometimes we come unstuck. So there's the part fully turned, nice and accurate. Go in with the drill. It's pretty messy, it needs speeding up. And then goes back in as a boring bar, but even that, it won't increase the size. Parts off using the drill. Thought I was being very clever. Okay, second time around, gets yeah, very messy. So I'm drilling first, so that the um, there's plenty of material there to resist the drill. Go in again with the boring bar, with the drill using it as a boring bar. Then we use a turning tool to turn down to the 12 diameter. But as you can see, very messy. I thought I'd pull that mess off, but it wasn't coming off readily, so I just tapped it off, as I usually do. That's it. So I thought I'd reverse the direction of cut for the profile and hopefully that would not let the swarf tangle in the chuck and around the part. And it works quite well. I've upped the drill feed to 0.2, much less messy than it was. Still 0.1 using it as a boring bar. And there's the hole nicely on size. No problem with the score for those wrapping cuts. And no problem when it, with it when the feed's 0.2, but the finish was really not that great. So in the next next clip you'll see what I what happened when I slowed that feed down. There you go, now it's slowed it down to 0.1 per rev. That's the profile cut to try and get a better finish on the part. Not that it needed it, it didn't, didn't need it, just you know, you try these things and see what happens. Love the way the swarf just flies away when you put plenty of feed and plenty of cut on. And that's what happened when I slowed it down to 0.1 per red feed. Lovely finish, but that was a good one. The next one after that just tangled around the part again and it was horrible. So I changed the profile cut feed to 0.15 per rev. And we'll see what that looks like in a minute.
see the finish is not as good as it was at 0.1 feed, but mm. when you've got 30 odd of these parts to make, you really don't want to be getting all that tangled mess each time. using the boring bar as the, the um, parting tool as the stop. It's only Gelrin and I didn't think that would be knocking that tool around too much so I didn't worry about using a parting, a proper parting um, piece of stock. And that's generally how they work, work quite well. Not too much drama with the swarf wrapping around the part, that's the turning, the parting tool doing that. So. But generally, that's how they finished up. So, not too bad for the balance of the 30 odd parts that I had to make. That's the finished part, and thank you for watching.